Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome back to Star Sector. This is the Mobile Suit Modded series. I guess I always said Mobile Suit Gundam. We did have a Mobile Suit Gundam uh, mod in, but that doesn't work since 0.9.0, I think. But this is Mobile Suit. We are currently using the armor and Diablo Avionics. Let's see, there's me. And we have these lovely babies. This is the Outer Grave Command Class Destroyer Mobile Armor. And this is the Gariga Class Cataphract Frigate Armor. As you can see, they have two built-in arms, a head point and two shoulder points. So right now, there's only a few suits within the mod, but I thought I'd show it off. There is only one Destroyer mod uh, class, the Outer Grave, but it comes in three variants. The Command, which has a missile launcher arm, and obviously Operations Center. The Grenadier, where the arm is replaced by a grenade launcher, a big one. And the regular mobile armor, which is a machine gun. There's only one of these frigate styles, we'll have to deal with that. They have a lot of fighter style weapons, so we'll be using those as well, of course. And they also have some gunboat corvette fighter style ones, which is basically uh, a fighter, single more powerful fighter you can man. And it can also dock at your carriers to reload its armaments. So obviously, it loses CR really quickly. So we have a few of those. So it's probably like five, six ships in total and a load of fighters. We are going to be playing only mobile suits. Which means we only have the armor, which is literally just here at New Mishan and nowhere else. And the Diablo Avionics. That's literally all we have access to. Oh, a little bit more as well. Just talk about it as we go. I'm going to go to a bounty. Uh, let's go to Esconia. So there is also... Uh, going to be combat carriers I guess combat carriers combat transports however we're going to do it so I want it to be every three deployed mobile suit variants I have to deploy a basically a mothership for them to try and keep it going to make them almost feel like this large fighters so that's how we're going to do it so if when I if when I get myself another ship I'm going to have to start deploying some kind of mothership for them and that's how we go to it from the future there's going to be a couple of big line ships because that's all you always have them in those big fights so maybe some cruisers and I'm only allowed one battleship variant to be my flagship so I'm gonna have to pick real hard what I want that one to be because obviously you pick the wrong one I might die okay I might have to take that no, 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 no. Patrol, come back. Can I take that? No, that's three bigger ships. So obviously, I need to kill some things. Whether I can kill all the things is a different matter. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. There's so many of them. I... So all I've got is one destroyer, one frigate. I should probably take that. Okay, move in to engage this one. Makes your face cruise. I'm going to show you the power of my ships. Now, like I say, we have one frigate and one destroyer only. Like I say, this one has a two shoulder mounted points. One's the medium, one's the small, and a chest mounted point. That's an inbuilt arm, we've talked about that. And that's what it has. And two deployable hunter killer drones which just defend it. It also has the karma system which turns missiles against its targets. Literally, if they fire missiles at you, you take control of them. The Gariga has two shoulder mounted points. Again, one head point and two inbuilt mutilator machine gun arms. Its ability is to overdrive itself, so it fires faster, moves faster, but it has a cooldown. And if you don't turn it off before the cooldown happens, it explodes. So this is Starjacker, that's the Welsh Dragon. This is the Lemming combat carrier coming with it. Well, combat transport. We only have so much in the way of supplies. Let's get our murder on. There we go, first one down. There's the missile launcher. There's the swaps and now redirected. Two down. 
Remember, it's 1,800 for every kill right now. Let's do this. Let's go forward. And boop. You don't get to have those. A couple of big ships moving in. Redirected. They're not going to turn in time. And this is our goal. Kill everything. Buy more ships. Now, the frigate costs about... Uh, between 40 and 60,000 to get a new one. Between 40 and 60,000 to get a new one depending on damage. The destroyer is between 150 to 200,000 depending on damage. The fighter strike and the fighter strike ships, they're about between 40 and 60,000 depending on damage. Now they are obviously customizable. The fighter proper variants are not, they're just fighters. But the fighter pointable variants are very customizable. And also, because they're technically fighters, they also get to go over terrain and, and ships and things. It's pretty awesome. They have customizable variant arms. Okay, let's phase it out of existence. That needs to die. That needs to die. Don't worry, Lemon Guide, I've got you. I've got you, Lemon Guide. So we'll be keeping track of all the kills. We'll be keeping track of all the names. You want to name ship, you get to see how well you do over time. At the end of every episode will be the kill counter. The kill counter is back, baby. God damn. Just the big ships left and that torch. Let's take out the clade. Which usually wouldn't be that difficult for a destroyer to take out, but seeing as the ship type you've got is not the best. It's escaping. There we go. Use the energy. Another one down. So yeah, we can pick them off. We don't really have much in the way of storage, so we'll be needing to get as much storage space as possible for, you know, supplies. And then get another transport storage. We don't want to get too many big ones, because right now, of course, we want to keep it slow and steady. But in keeping with what I've said, if I want to get another group, I'm going to have to get another transport. Okay, come on. There we go. Fire water missiles. That's it. Come on. There we are. I need to swap the front weapon with this thing down, but yeah, there we go. Nice and simple. That's it, Welsh. Scare it away. You catching? Yes, you are. Can you dig it? Yes, I can. It's escaping. Uh, let it go. So, yeah, we always need supplies, we always need equipment. In the grand scheme of things, equipment and supplies are more important than anything else. Actually, we don't have too much. So we're going to be killing as many targets as possible to get as many supplies as possible. Now, right now, of course, we can't hold that many supplies. It's more about the bounty. So that's what it's all about. Let's see if she's... I mean, let's take... Yeah. Do that as well. The crew and all of our kills. Now, our characters could be set up like this there's me, my lovely school mask. I have four skill points, 15 story points, apparently. And I've currently set up purely so we have a better burn level for larger line ships. So that's how we're currently going. I'm saving the rest for the future right now. Ooh, ooh, what's this? A clade. Oh, it's one of these. I don't care about you. I really, really wish we had more supply storage. Are they, are they winning? They should be winning. Pirate Armada, yeah, good luck. Ball class destroyer, combat freighter, Rayfarer. Uh, 100 cargo cap. Yeah, sure, take it. 
red dwarf is now part of my fleet. Typical. Okay, now my crew's under strength. No, I don't want, the, I don't want that. So we don't want anything which isn't, you know, combat ready. I was going to say, we can only have line ships which are cruisers. So that's going to be a bit of an issue for the future. If I do that, I can't deploy it. If I do that, I can't deploy anything. If I do that, I don't have to crew. I don't have to crew. I guess I have to deal with it. Do that. Hit him. They moved. So we need to get some more crew. Okay, we can do this. Pursue them. And how we're going to pursue them, of course, is with the wells, which is a little bit resource low is the phrase I'm going to be used. Yeah, I know you're in danger. I think both my weapons just turned off. So yeah, we're going to get some kills. We're going to get some mass murdering. And hopefully we're going to have a bit of fun along the way. Get named. Earn your citizenship. That's the only way. Good old... What is it called? Just made my infantry. Go, go, go! Oh, I hear that as it almost overloads. So what we need right now, of course, is more crew. Significantly more crew. Yeah, they've gone. They saved them. They saved them by sacrificing their lives. That's very unpiratey, isn't it? How are we doing on crew? How much more do we need? 83. Okay. That's a problem. Let's go up to Volton and grab some more crew. Actually, let's go to Outpost Tiger, Shadow Yards. They like me. They like me. Okay, so we're going to grab some more crew. Let's grab like that mana. Sell that. La, 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 la. We don't need anything because, of course, they don't really have anything we need. Which, you know, is what it is. Oh, two minutes. Oh, wow. We need a crew of 83 and we can hold 89. That's a little bit close. That's a little, little bit close. Okay. Anyone do anything? 39,000 for eight, 48 units of recreational drugs. 39k. 10 light years to top four. Hmm. Decline for now. I might come back to you. But yeah, as you can see, though, it's going to be very, very hard to find the fighter ships we need in this situation. What can you do? Helmsmanship, target analysis, reliability. Oh, look at that. Range specialization. Yeah, sure. And now we have a level 4 officer for the Welsh. So yeah, we're going to get some more ships. Get named. Die trying. Going to take a while. Let's go back and see if the pirates want to go play with us. The pirates don't, in fact, want to play with us. So we're going to play with them anyway. The Welsh is being deployed one more time for a little bit of casual murder. Hello, Torch. Goodbye, Torch. Trouble is, it slowed me down. Come on, boost! Seven percent. That was cut, cutting it short. We might not be able to attack anything else, but each kill is eighteen hundred credits. We just need the money. I need another Gariga on the field. Okay, engage. Down. There we go. So yeah, these ships are very powerful, but because they have like, they're currently completely overridden. They have massive amounts of speed, very little range, which is a problem, of course. But you know, come on, close range. Oh, that noise is kind of terrifying when you're suddenly looking at the target and then you have to look down to see if you're about to die. The, it's the having to look down which makes it worse. 
What have we got? Another target there. Who are you? We can hit that. Move into engage. Have I deployed the right one? Are you the lemming? You are the lemming. Okay, lemming stick with me. And the Star Jackal enters the field once more. Mobile suit all the way. God. Oh, they're using their own mobile suits. Not a fan of this. Oh! I've lost a leg! They blown up one of my legs! My legs have EMP in them. They make them they make missiles slightly more annoying. Oh no, I've lost one. Well that's the repair docks for me. Come on. Come on. Make them upset about being near me. Just like everyone else in my life. Die! The Eternal Legion will not fall to you people. Well, mainly because I'm starting the fight, if I'm honest. If I fall to the people I'm starting a fight with, I probably shouldn't be starting a fight. Okay, the Welsh is doing well. Take that for the power boost. Take out the Vortex. That's a Venom X. Down. Good. Point blank missiles down. Good. I missed my leg. There's the mule. Okay, let's see. Fighters are coming in. What are they? Vulcans. Yeah, they are. They're stealing my fighters. Come on. You need to die the widen again. On. Just need to kill it. Just need to kill it. Lemming, do well. How are you faster than me? Oh, we'll leave it then. It'll have to come back. We'll go kill the Cerberus. The tail. Yeah, it was tailing me. Really was a tail follower. Wow, you lived up to your name. Let's take out this. Let's take out the carrier. The carrier, however, would be very, very good in my fleet if it wasn't so slow. It'd be a good line ship. But it's too slow. So we're going to leave it. Come on, just die. Okay, the Welsh are having problems. Mobile suits, of course, do need to resupply faster than regular ships. There we go, give me your power. I need to vent. Recharged again. Where's my head gun? Dag nab it, I'm taking too much damage. We're almost low on missiles too. There we go. Hail to the chief, baby. Well done, Welsh. How are we doing up there? The mule's still alive. Of course it is. Took more damage than I'd like to admit to, especially in a destroyer class mobile suit. We're definitely going to need to get some regular suits to support the command thing, because command, of course, only has one gun. We believe in having our fist raised for the enemy. Can't put a gun in it. I'd like to. We can't, but you know, it is what it is. Ah, uh, let them go. Another successful war. Can't believe they're using Vulcans against us. That was just annoying. But there we go. We can now afford another frigate. Of course, we don't actually have the crew available for that now. Oh. We don't have the crew whatsoever ready for that. 
And I think that was all the enemy targets. I think we're out of pirates. It may be time to go see on what the hegemony are fighting. The hegemony, of course, we will also be killing. So that's our goal currently. Wipe out the enemy. Wipe out the Diablo Avionics, because I need some of their ships, and also a lot of their fighters. And continue the war of the mobile armor, the mobile suits. Because there can be only one, and it's damn well not going to be them. Because if it is, I'm going to be very upset. But yeah, there's nothing we can do here, there's no real equipment we can buy. Uh... Obviously, I can upgrade this a little bit, but it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. This is maximum crew cap by 50%. That could be why we're having issues. Damage weapon mount, silver sword, notable? Good. Good. So, yeah, this is our fleet company the Star Jackal, the Welsh Dragon, and the two support ships. We need more. Aim representative. Oh yeah, these are mercs for hire, aren't they? Huh. Let's go back, see if there is a frigate to go pick up. And we're here, so what we need, of course, is a new ship. And there is a Gariga, and here's the Aleste I was talking about. It's basically a super-sized fighter chassis, which you can man. Now, we can also swap out both guns, grenade launchers, sword stuff like that. However, this glitch, the greatest shields. We're going to buy another Gariga. And we're going to get that name. So, yeah, we are building. Can I actually man it? Oof, just. What's our fighter thing now? 88. If we lose even a single crew member, we're screwed. <laughs> Literally screwed. Oh, dear. So yeah, we need to start getting a better support ship, a better line ship. But, we now have two frigate class mobile suits and a destroyer class mobile suit. We are now more prepped than ever to fight. What have you got? Spatter gun, mutilators. Good, 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 good. So that's our current fleet. I think it's a good start. I've been the Fallen Shogun. Welcome to Mobile Suit. Gundam? I miss the Gundam mod. Right, take care. Be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. Here comes the kill counters for Welsh and Starjackle.